Husbands just don't understand. They said Venus is our native planet of love, but these silly <laughs> men must be from Mars. I gazed at the zodiac constellation above in the amazing galaxy of stars. Metaphysically, I felt a severe whipping across my backside from Orion's belt. Then I desired to sweeten her Milky Way, to don that superhero cape and make her day, to solve the eternal enigma that puzzles every man single handed to be her superhero, her husband man. To be that active listener to understand, to be her own human decompression zone, where she doesn't have to feel alone. Where she can just simply melt down with no one else but us around. Like a little girl in her daddy's arms, feeling safe from real or imagined harm. Soothe her aura from the strife of life. Make her feel like a real superhero's wife. And in exchange for her insecurities, of which mere mortal man can make no sense, give her that reassuring self-confidence. She won't have to go to Oz for that. No wizard, no magician's top hat, no prestidigitation, no sleight of hand, just me, her superhero, her husband man. Her every unspoken word would be heard. My superpowers of spectacular vernacular would translate her nonverbal communication, putting an end to all her frustration. Validate her most far-fetched thoughts, bring all misunderstanding to naught. Euphoric, peaceful state of mind she won't have to search to find. When I don that superhero cape, she won't have to say, Calgon, take me away <laughs> to some imaginary fantasy land, just me her superhero, her husband, man. 